Are you guys um, excited about Derek Jeter being Yankee fans? That was pretty uh, cool. Fans? That was pretty cool. It was uh, done in uh, true, uh, exciting, movie-like form. Yeah, he hits a homer. That's Big true. home run. He almost hit for the cycle, right? <clears throat> yeah, he needed a triple. Uh, I don't think he uh, pulled the that triple's one off, the, so. the I think the triple's the hardest one to do in, yeah. in, as far as the cycle goes, don't you think? Yeah. He was, uh, what was he, 5 for 5? Yep. He had a great day. Hits his 3,000th on a giant fucking home run. And uh, very Rex exciting. Rex got to do that day. with Wade Boggs. That's right. Oh, for, yes. Ex Yankee for the Rays. Wade Boggs. Good old Wade. That was just a really exciting moment there. Oh. We got the got? Sterling phone call? Sterling, uh, the Sterling call. Uh, and, and he was very cool about it. Yeah. He didn't, he didn't yuck it up and goof it up. For no, the, he was good. For the rest <clears> of the country, this John Sterling is a hack when it comes to home run calls. Uh, He's actually a very good announcer, I think. Yeah. To a point, and then he has to go over the top and make it about himself. Uh, so everyone was wondering if he was going to handle the Dirk Jeter 3,000 hit uh, call properly. Now, does this include, uh, what's her name? Uh, Susan Waldman? Susan yes. Waldman. <laughs> yes, yes. Who, by the way, I think has a secret thing for Posada. <laughs> oh, oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, I, I included an extra track just because I personally love listening to her voice. Uh, who, I don't even know if it's like necessarily Patricia good. <laughs> who doesn't love, love that Susan voice? All right, uh, here's how it went down on uh, what day now? Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Saturday right? Saturday, Saturday uh, yeah, afternoon. afternoon. So the count holds three and two. There's so much energy in this park. Everyone's going to need a nap when he's when he's done here. You can just... Oh, she sucks. <laughs> everyone's going to need a nap here. No, not everyone's going through chemo. <laughs> uh, She's not going through chemo anymore, right? I hope not. Uh, I, I wish her nothing but the best. Also, the count being full was great, too. You know, that, that full count. To it. Yeah, full count. Were you watching? Yeah. Yeah, had to see that one. You were watching. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was fucking great. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the count holds three and two. There's so much energy in this park. Everyone's going to need a nap when he's when he's done. Can you pause here. that, please? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> Everybody's going to need a nap. A nap. What is that? Uh, You're like in a man's world. Shut up. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Maybe you and the broads uh, take naps, but this yeah. is a man's fucking sport what? you're announcing. How <laughs> terrible is that? It's so much energy, everybody's gonna need a nap. A nap. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, she's terrible. She really is. And I like her. I really like her because she loves the Yankees. Maybe a nap because a bunch of the, the boys have had about 20 $10 beers. But, yeah, yeah. But not because uh, Dirk Jeter might hit a milestone, you <laughs> dope. What he's done here, you can just feel it. And there's the chant, which you can hear in the background. Derek Jeter. Oh, yeah. Here comes the 3-2 from Price. Swung on and hit in the air. The deep left. That ball is high. It is far. It is gone. He's homered. Derek Jeter homers to tie the game. And there it is. Hit number 3,000. Derek Jeter has achieved another milestone in his Hall of Fame career. 15 playoff appearances, 12 All-Star games, 5 World Championships, and now the first Yankee to amass 3,000 hits, the captain, Derek Jeter. And as he promised, Jorge Posada jumped over that railing. It was the first <laughs> one to reach Derek Cheater. Posada. A magnificent milestone for a magnificent Yankee. Oh, <laughs> Posada's jumping over the rail. She always thinks she knows what's going on behind Posada's <laughs> yeah, fucking yeah, eyes. Yeah, no. What's going on with Posada? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. George is spinning in his box. <laughs> Posada's a libertarian. <laughs> Stop thinking you know Posada. She knows everything he's thinking. Just like he said he was going to do. She sounds like Ted Sheckler. She really annoys me. But maybe she really does know because she's, she's banging Beverly. Posada. Ah, and no one knows. On, <laughs> no one knows. Georgie. Yeah, he fucked her no way off. Because believe it. <laughs> I'm going to jump that rail, bitch. Oh, don't, don't tell nobody. Just like he promised. Yeah. 
He promised he wasn't going to come in my wing. Fucking, <laughs> <laughs> uh, give it to Sterling, though. Uh, yeah, he did a great job. He make it by himself. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, bravo. A plus for John Sterling. We that was a good one. Up. What's his home run call when Jeter does hit one? How Jeterian? Yeah, Jeterian. Oh, it's, oh, oh I didn't know that I think one. Eric's got one in the season. Oh, it's Terrible. so bad. God, th- thank God oh. he didn't do that. Yeah. I wonder but if somebody Jeff told him did. not to do it on this one. What? I wonder if somebody oh, told him, just yeah. don't. Mm. Or maybe he's gotten the message that it stinks, and they're replaying the fucking the, the TV broadcast most of the time, and it's and yeah. nobody wants to hear that shit. Yeah. We have an extra Susan Waldman clip. Yeah, just, oh, just good. She kind of, uh, I give her a C minus. I hope she resigns <laughs> next year. <laughs> oh, of course. Derek now waving to the crowd. Actually, he's waving to his parents who are up in the box. <laughs> Johnny Damon is leading the chairs of the Rays. They're out of the dugout applauding. Johnny wanted to come over. He got halfway out and was talked to. And so he's back there, but he is leading the cheers. Derek coming out, waving to the fans. What a day. Hey, I, I'm gl- You know what? I'm out of the box. <laughs> 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 so Johnny Damon obviously played for the Yankees. He's yeah. on the other other side there, and he wanted to walk he over. He wanted to Jeter. walk over. Yeah. What What would be the problem with that? Yeah. <laughs> what would be the problem with that to show? Look, you know, we played together. There's a huge milestone for baseball in general. Of course, that would be a cool moment that a guy from the other side oh, comes yeah, over yeah, to yeah. congratulate him. What yeah. What's the problem with who, that? Who had the problem? Was oh, it, who it's just something, what, it's something you, just, you just don't do. Yeah, you I wonder, probably don't want anyone in a Rays uniform around all those Yankees while they're having why the, the fuck nice not? Op, probably. But, it's, but it's fucking Damon. I, I wonder mean, if his teammates with the might have said, ah, let him just see him after. No, well, the, the, who he, talked to him? That's what I'm saying. Someone basically said, don't do that. How they're know. talking to. What's, what would be the problem with that? It wasn't like it's just a basic game and it's a walk off home run or something to win the game. This is a huge milestone for baseball. It reminded me of Jim and his Lady Gaga picture. What, what happened? What happened? When he was spoken <laughs> to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he was spoken to. Well, we'll see what happens. That's where, you that's think what... you're going to go over there and uh, <laughs> shake Judas' hand? <laughs> that's where sports blows it. Right there. there there's a yeah, moment. He, he was Just really, let the he moment was really happen. happy for Jeter. He, yeah, like oh, they, yeah, they yeah. panned right to him after Rough. he hit the home run. Nah, whatever. Yeah. It, I mean, the game itself is a who gives a fuck game. So why not let that happen? So good for Jeter, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, you know. And then we another, uh, another milestone. We got audio of the kid. Career. He's not a kid. He's 23 years old. Who caught the Jeter ball? Oh yeah. Why the fuck would you give that ball back? I know the Yankees. Hey, and Jeter Yankee gave him a good fan, deal. let me tell you something. Uh, he earned the ball. Uh, I uh, two hundred fifty thousand dollars. What? <laughs> is that what they're saying? They're saying it could have gotten upwards of two hundred fifty. So why is he heard four hundred thousand? So why <laughs> really? the fuck is he being? I'm gonna say six. Okay. <laughs> why? Why is he being a good guy and giving the ball back? Fuck that. Because he's being a good guy. You know, really? And then the organization the Yankees, hooked him up. The Yankees and baseball in general, you know, rapes the fans. Here's yeah. your opportunity to get some money back, and you hand the ball back. They gave him seats for the rest of the season. Well, I, I, like I said, they they kind of took care of him, but that yeah. that's that's no skin off their back. In the playoffs. Yeah, through the playoffs, he has a good one. They said it could be up to like $75,000 worth of seats if it goes through the playoffs. Well, they're not selling those seats anyway, so. Uh, yeah. And I would imagine this guy uh, isn't independently wealthy. He could probably, probably he's, he's got over a hundred grand in, uh, in student loans. And he gave the ball back? Yeah. What a dope. He learned yeah. nothing in college. He's a, <laughs> no, right? he learned he's a, a business nothing. major. He's a Verizon uh, phone rep. He's a good man, uh, man. See? God bless him. See? You know, honest to the core. Honest people that work for that Verizon. It's amazing. I can make phone calls. Here's your ball. <laughs> AT&T would just hold it to their ear. Maybe this will sound better than my phone. <laughs> Holy shit. If, if it, I mean, maybe if these guys weren't making just billions... He can't said, even say millions at this point. A few of these guys are pushing close to a billion. He said he's 23. He has plenty of time to make money. Yeah. yeah. What a dope. And he said... Uh, I, I'm not it, going with the feel-good angle here. He he's goes, a dope. Jeter earned that ball, and he deserved it. All right, so pay for it. <laughs> he earned it already. <laughs> if Jeter had to pay 250000 he would never fucking even feel that. And then this guy could pay off his student loads. That guy's now... Uh, a great Yankee fan. He's one of the guys. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Watch what happens to this guy next year. Get in line, stupid. Uh, I'll tell you one thing. If he cut back on his food bill, perhaps yeah. uh, he'd have some money. 
I'd be get caught up in the moment guy, and then I'd regret it when I was done. Like, look, I shouldn't have handed you that. Yeah, could I have that back? Huh? <laughs> Dirt Jeter's not suffering. That's why you don't hand it back. Yeah. Sorry. You just don't. You know, somebody would buy that ball big time. That'd be great if Jeter sold it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I don't right. fucking care well, about it. I just want the money. <laughs> well, no one makes it really special, and I didn't know this until the, over the weekend. He's the first guy to do it with all the... Yankee. I, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. No, no, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. ever. All the great Yankees I know, that played, that and, and I did not know he was the first. Yeah. And a lot of those Yankees had long fucking careers. Oh, yeah, they used to play for fucking years, yeah. You know what's yeah. amazing is Pete Rose had, f- what's, 4,200? Yes. Yeah. Like, as oh. good as Jeter is, as many hits as he's gotten, fucking Pete Rose has 1,200 more. And that's why he should be in the Hall of Fame. That's, Who gives a fuck what he was uh, doing? Whatever. This guy knew what he was doing on a baseball oh field. God, was he good. Well, the pitcher's always distracted by his Mo haircut. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He'd cough up, some, <laughs> cough up some good ones for him. <laughs> Only throwing at 75 miles an hour. Yeah. Thinking, this guy can't possibly hit can't with a haircut hit. like that. He's got to yeah. be retarded. Big medallion. <laughs> 4,200? Is that what Pete Rose? No, Pete Rose has. He <clears throat> broke Ty Cobb's record, whatever it oh, was. Yeah. Although Ty Cobb doing it is much more impressive, right? Because he, he had should no have seen his brother corn on the. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. I know, joke. <laughs> like tie in corn and or tie a yellow ribbon. <laughs> Who's in That's second so. place on the Yankees as far as uh, hits go? Uh, Jeter's the all-time leader, obviously. Posada. <laughs> I don't even think anyone's close. Yeah, is Who it? would you guess? Or did you? I they, would. They guess... They must have thrown the name around this weekend. I would guess Lou Gehrig. That's what I would say. Because he had and, such a long And I would career. say Luke Gehrig had 3,000 hits. <coughs> Obviously, he did not. Yeah. But I would have assumed he did. Huh. Who was second Rose, place on the Yankees? 4,256 hits. And he's not in the Hall of Fame. That's crazy. That's a travesty. Well, you know. With all the shit that has happened in he baseball. He was terrible. And he Enough broke, already. And he was going for DiMaggio's record of 56 straight games. But I think, what did he get to, 40? 40. Uh, in the 40s, right? Uh, People speculating. It he was set the, the National League the babe, record, but I don't know. It was it Babe Ruth? I mean, I would say Gary over Babe Ruth. He probably played. For oh no, it has there. to be Babe Ruth. The Babe has to be more hits. Babe has to be. It's Gary. It, oh, it's right, Gary. Oh, sorry. Well, okay. I guess it doesn't has to be. Uh, has to be. What did Gary have? Lou Gehrig's decision. 170 hits. <laughs> <laughs> Lou Gehrig had 170 hits. <laughs> a poor immune system. Uh, yeah. Why don't you keep going? 27-21? That's what he got. Uh, Before he started uh, he didn't get turning into a statue. Fucking shit. He'd have been fine. Yeah. Yep. He would have made it. Because he, he retired early, right? He wasn't he well, only he like... He had to. Yeah. He, well, I understand yeah. that. But what, yeah, what, yeah, yeah, yeah. He I, was only like 30... I want to say... 35, I'm going to go with. Yeah. He had to be later, right? Because he played that many straight games. He had to be 30, 39, close to 40, no? I don't think so. DiMaggio, about... uh, DiMaggio had 300. 300? 3,000, I mean. Yeah, yeah. On <laughs> Marilyn's face. <laughs> <laughs> See, because he used to punch her. I know I Twittered that. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't read that I one. Know you didn't. <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> yes. 36. Huh? Retired He retired 36. at 36. So, and he, had, he was, what, a season and a half away from That's getting the 3,000, probably, right? About? Wow. Probably uh, at that age, probably two. Maybe two half. seasons. Hey, yeah. but he was the luckiest man on earth. That's what true. are you going to do? But he really was, or he Not, wouldn't have had. You know who was luckier? The hot dog guy without Lou Gehrig's disease. <laughs> that lived was a lot luckier. That lived to eighty-five. Yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That was. I bet you there was at least one guy that said that. I'm the luckiest man face the earth. No, you ain't, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> How much longer did he live after that? Not um, very a long. week. A week. <laughs> he died in the dugout. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he drove shit. himself to the funeral home. <laughs> Died at 37, and he retired when? 36. 36. Oh, shit. Wow, he really played right up to the end, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> oh, gee. Nah, not really. No? Well, I, I mean, yeah, technically. They but put I mean, a, put, He put his uniform no, on and showed up. That fucking disease, though, one day, you know, you're totally fine. Next day, you feel your finger getting a little fucking stiff, and, and, oh, and a year later, hear that. And a year later that you're dead. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't like hearing you that. You don't have Lou Gehrig's disease. Oh, thank God. <laughs> it's not the oh. one you have. <laughs> no. So don't have oh. Luke. Jesus. I know someone that they got it. Oh, jeez. I wasn't that close to him, but I knew him. 
It is a horrible fucking thing. I have rock Hudson disease. I mean, make disease. your jokes. <laughs> make your jokes. As well as William Holden disease. <laughs> Bill, Bill, Bill Holden. <laughs> Hello, uh, Bill. Fall into the old table disease. Yeah. <laughs> old table head. I'm nice the, hat. I'm the drunkest man on the face of the earth. <laughs> on, the, <laughs> oh. on, the, on his face on the floor. <laughs> Uh, Marcos uh, from Yonkers would have sold the ball for money because he's a jerk. I don't think you're a jerk. I mean, if these guys are yeah. making as much money as they are, and you have to pay uh, a shitload of money to go to these games, I, I, I don't, I don't see the problem at all. It at fuck it all, they take advantage of their fans. Why not take advantage of them when you're in that opportunity? I don't know. It doesn't come off as like you come off looking like a. Douchebag. Who gives a regardless fuck? of but your all student the loans money, are paid off. Re- I'm saying regardless of the money and everything. Okay. And, and the money that the players are making and the money you are making, it just you come off looking like you know. Oh really? The guy fucking has his whole career as a kid playing fucking little league. There's his moment. He smashes a fucking home run for his three thousandth fucking hit, and this asshole is taking it home. All right. Let me give you another angle on this. Uh huh. Going with what you said, and and that's very uh, accurate, right? So shouldn't Derek Jeter now do the right thing and go, oh fuck, it's in the press. You owe a hundred thousand dollars in school loans, and you took care of me, and you were nice to me. I'm gonna secretly pay off your uh, student loans. Yeah, maybe he did secretly. He fucking ain't gonna do it. <laughs> I guarantee he's not gonna do it. No. Why would he? No. And that's why, why this he fucking fat shit? fuck with the fucking bitch tits oh. should have sold the ball and got rid of his student loans. He's right in there. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't mean that. Oh wow, we're really late for the first Iraq joke. Sorry. <laughs> let me. Oh, I know it's hilarious. Let me say hi to Scott on Long uh, Long Island City. Actually, Scott, go ahead. Scott. Hey, how you doing? Um, it's a major league baseball rule that the not the opposing players are not allowed to fraternize with one another. That's why they probably didn't let Damon go over. Uh, uh, all right, but how much would it have cost really? Damon to do that? Probably, yeah, I mean, maybe suspended a game or something, and maybe a, like ten thousand. Is that to keep from fighting, kind of a thing? You're not allowed to go over there and start in in their face. Hey, you motherfucker! Yeah, but I don't think that's what Johnny Damon was going to say. I don't either. <laughs> that's just Damon. It. Damon should have went over, even if he broke the rule. And then Major League Baseball should have done the right thing and said, "Ah, we're going to let this one slide." But yeah. stupid baseball can't let anything slide ever. No, no, the zero remember, tolerance. Remember, policy. perfect game guy. What perfect game guy? What's his name? Bud Selig's a cunt. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Fuck that guy's I moment hate because Bud Selig. because the stupid ump made the wrong call. And yeah. guess what? None of us know that guy's name because he didn't get the perfect game. And instead of overriding and doing the right thing, Bud Selig is just such a fucking twat and a coward. Right. He's, He's a just, coward. And because the umpire came out and said, "I blew it." Yeah. And how often do they do that? Right. Yeah. Oh, it's part of the game. I love these guys. It's part of the game. It's part of the game. Yeah, I was like, my mistake. It took away from my kid. Sometimes. Wasn't they all crying? Yeah. And oh, yeah. Sometimes, you, sometimes you just do the right thing. Of course you do. Bud. Soccer. Yeah. Gives a fuck. Soccer. Have you watched this soccer shit? What? The bitches with the Brazil? Yeah, the bitches beat Apparently Brazil. They won. What does that mean? I don't know. It wasn't supposed to happen. So. I don't give a shit. What does it mean? Brazil lost? <laughs> yeah. Like, all right. And they're supposed to be really good. Cause Brazil. Because the fans drive around with those giant flags. Are we still making believe the, that we like soccer in America? Car. No. <laughs> well, who's really believing that? I don't know. You know where they like it? Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Yeah. Uh, some parts of the South. Uh, South America? South America. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Korea. What? Really? I don't know. I, uh, <laughs> yeah, for some reason that was a big Oh, upset. oh, before we move on. So uh, we got the guy talking about uh, catching Jeter's ball Oh! There. Uh, Christian, could you just take us through the moment when the ball was up in the air and it was coming down to you and what you did? Everyone's an asshole. Everyone's an asshole. That's today's quote. Everyone uh, is an asshole. Oh, God. What, what do you think was going through his mind? Ooh, he was hoping funny. that the ball was close enough to him <laughs> and that he would have a shot at it. Yeah. Yeah. Catching it. <sighs> uh, Christian, could you just take us through the moment when the ball was up in the air and it was coming down to you and what you did? Um, I was actually taking a picture. Hopefully he just hit it. And then next thing I know, I look in the air and I see my dad diving across a crowd of people. <laughs> and he missed it because he has awful hands. <laughs> and um, <laughs> next thing I know, I just saw the ball roll in front of me and I just 
jump on it. Uh, it was just instinct. I saw. And no one was going to roll Fatty off the ball, nope. so he had it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, he's probably a fan of the show. What was going on with that Boston game? Uh, oh, you didn't see the that? The Orioles aren't happy. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Why? Wasn't that great? Because they're fucking awful. <laughs> that was hilarious. Uh, on Friday night, I guess, there was a bench-clearing brawl, and then... Uh, it was some good. Yeah, Boston hit a lot of Orioles over, I, the, over I just, the weekend. Yeah, I just noticed a lot of fucking. And there was a lot of ejections. A lot of people getting hit. A lot with of people pitches. getting hit on Sunday. <laughs> yes, a, yeah. a lot of frustrations being taken out before the All Star break. <laughs> Hilarious. There was a lot of fun to watch. Is that your team? Yep. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> it was just instinct. I saw the ball. I was like, "Wow, it's, this is it. He's good. This is my chance." Bruce in the middle. Christian, I think it in the middle. Christian, I've been getting uh, texts and tweets all day saying you're crazy, that, you know, you should have asked for money here, that you took a different approach. Can you talk about why? Um, I mean, uh, Mr. Jeter deserved it. I'm not going to take it away from him. Uh, yeah, money's cool and all, but I'm only 23 years old. I have a lot of time to make that. Um, ah, the youth and their dumb dreams. His accomplishment this is a milestone. Like someone said, only 27 other people have done this. Uh, it's not an everyday thing, and he deserves every second of it. It's all his. Uh, he's worked so hard for 15 years or so. And, and if we lived in a perfect world, that sounds mm -hmm. like a very, mm -hmm. very nice thing to do, but yeah. uh, we don't. But he's going to be like, fucking, oh, God. If we lived in a perfect w world, someone now would step up and go, you know what, you fucking did the right thing, so now I'm going to do the right thing. Maybe karma. And pay off your student loans. Maybe karma will help him out. That karma doesn't And he's going to get, like, a good job. Yeah. Like, the recognition he got from this, somebody is going to look at him and go, now that's the kind of employee I want, someone that's honest. Mm -hmm. uh, instead of the money, he's going to, you know... Really? Do the right thing. You know what's really going to happen? <clears throat> yeah. He's going to have to foreclose on his home, and he's going to get ass cancer. <laughs> That's what karma really is. You and think karma will do the right thing, but it doesn't. And worse than that, he'll get a job here. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I thought I just said that. <laughs> God damn it.